In the first few days following her horrible response to the state of the union, Republican Senator Katie Britt was just dragged to hell and back for her just crazy performance. I don't know if you've seen the clip of Scarlett Johansson uh, from Saturday Night Live this past weekend. She did a phenomenal uh, impersonation of it. It was absolutely top notch. But there's another thing that Katie Britt did during her response that also raised a lot of eyebrows and is now causing her a massive headache. And that is the story she told about the woman who was trafficked by the Mexican drug cartels when she was only 12 years old. And it turns out that that story where Brit was obviously trying to say that, oh, this happened under Biden. Well, it actually happened in 2004. It was a 20 year old story that then the tragedy that this woman suffered through happened while George W. Bush, a Republican was president. And Brit was actually called out for that on Fox news of all places over the weekend. Here's what happened. She was asked by Fox news, Shannon Bream on Sunday, whether she meant to give the impression that the story had taken place during Biden's time in office. And Brit responded, no, Shannon, I very clearly said, I spoke to a woman who told me about when she was trafficked, when she was 12. So I didn't say a teenager. I didn't say a young woman, a grown woman, a woman when she was trafficked, she was 12. So she got called out for her lie and she kind of tries to say like, whoa, 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 I didn't actually lie. I just wasn't forthright with all of the information. And I spoke to this woman who I've, you know, I've met for the record. The woman in question has actually now had to come out and correct the record because not only did Brit get the time frame wrong, or at least try to mislead the public about the, uh, uh, timeline here. But the woman also says that Katie Britt did in fact lie about multiple things in the story. For example, it wasn't the Mexican drug cartel. They weren't involved in any of it. So that 100% is a lie from Katie Britt that she has yet to own up to. But again, Katie Britt's story was so outrageous and so wrong that this woman has now had to come out publicly and say, this woman, Katie Britt is a friggin' liar. Basically those weren't her words, but based on her saying that some things Katie Britt said were completely factually wrong, then yeah, she's basically telling us Katie Britt is a liar. Now here's the other thing. This is not some person that Katie Britt went and met out on the campaign trail. This is not somebody that she ran into while shopping for her, you know, horribly barren kitchen. This is a woman who has become an activist for trafficked victims, a woman who actually testified before Congress in 2015. So it's not some stranger. It's not some random woman that people don't know her story. She's been very vocal about it. And Katie Britt's acting like, Hey, I met this woman one time, like nothing that Katie did Brit, uh, Katie Britt did, excuse me, was honest. Nothing that she did was accurate. So in addition to that ridiculously creepy ass performance, she turned in, she also got basic facts wrong, acting like she had exclusive insight into this woman who has very publicly already testified before Congress nine years ago. So go ahead and add that on to Katie Britt's horrible performance, because in addition to being super creepy on camera, she also is allergic to telling the truth.